All right, y'all, pyramid schemes. Most of us know somebody who's in a pyramid scheme and almost all of us have been approached by usually an old friend from high school to join a pyramid scheme. Today, I'm gonna be doing some top level espionage to find out what really goes on behind the scenes of one of the biggest pyramid schemes in the world. It's called World Financial Group. It sounds very official. They refer to their team members as agents or brokers. We're calling them. I'm interested in joining World Financial Group, and I just wondered if you guys have like a meeting or something that I could go to to learn more. So I can give you one of the agent's phone number. You have to call him and make an appointment with him. Sure. What's his name? Hartage. All right. Let's call Hartage. Hello. Hey, is this Hartage? Yep. Um, I'm looking at joining WFG, and, and she said to get a, a hold of you to attend a meeting. I think, Mark, we talked about this before. No, you must be thinking of someone else. We, we, we talked about this almost uh, 40, 45 days ago. You must be thinking I of someone else. You. This is my first day looking into WFG. I've never spoke to you before, for sure. Okay, okay. The best thing to learn about WFG is we can sit down one-on-one -on -one basis, and uh, I can explain you what we do. Okay, cool. I'll just schedule tomorrow then. Thanks so much. Well, it was great talking to you, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right, I'm walking into this place. I gotta be covert about this shit, y'all. They are paying off their houses and making their money dead and lost in the house. I'm Marco. Yep, how are you? So what, uh, what beat your interest in this um, industry? To be honest, I don't even know what this industry is. I was just uh, looking online at like side businesses and stuff. So the first of all, this was not uh, my profession. Okay. From profession, I'm an electrical engineer. If you know somebody who's working at the job, you probably see after 10 years, the salary will be the same. And that was the reason I was looking for something where I can have control over my time. And I don't need to wake up with the alarm clock. And I did it part-time for six months. But once I replaced my job income, I switched to a full-time. So after only six months, you got to do that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, like, what is it? What do you do? So what we do end of the day is, let's look at people out there. They have a houses. And when they have buy the houses, what they need to get? Mortgage, house insurance, okay, property tax and other insurances, mortgage insurance. By the way, all those awards on the shelf behind him aren't from any sort of government or financial agency. They're just from World Financial Group. You could literally go to an award store and buy one of these things and print whatever you want on it. For example, the blue one behind his head, I found online pretty fast, and you can get that for 150 bucks. What do you think? Insurance is expense or investment? It's an expense, definitely, it's if you're expense. paying it, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's lack of education. Because they don't know how insurance could become the best investment of their life. How could insurance be the best investment of your life? That's the education we give them. You could make money. How? That's the investment part of the insurance. People don't understand. You pay every month $100 into the insurance. Sure. And within 20 years, you will be paying $24,000. Mm -hmm. And that $24,000 could become zero after 20 years and could become $48,000. How could it become $48,000? That's the everything is we have. So how do I, how would I make money from that though? So let's say if you don't get the injured, uh -huh. you get all the money back. How? That's the part in the insurance. But how come I've never heard that from an insurance company that I've talked to? They don't want you to learn because they have to pay you back the money. I'm about to go tell all my five friends, yo, da 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 da, because this is good information, right? They won't believe you. Right. Because it sounds so ridiculous. Yeah, they right. won't believe you. Yeah, no, you're for sure. I will recruit you, I will train you, get you the license, and I will teach you everything. And the banks and companies pay you. But for there to be money that I'm getting paid, somebody has to be buying something. Yeah, they are already buying it. Who is they? Your friends and families. Okay, so I'm going to educate my friends and family okay. about the proper places to buy insurance and stuff from. Yeah. And then when they buy it, then we would make money. Yeah. Got it. You guys have a deal with like an insurance company, right? Where they say, if you get some people to buy our insurance, we give you some commission from that? Is that how it works or? That's how it works everywhere. Most insurance company, you need to have the advisor to get it. I have insurance and I just call them myself. What's stopping me from going and being like, oh, now I know the proper thing to ask for. Well, Let they me don't just go know which banks and company have that. But I just told them, right? I educated. We educated them, but we did not tell them which bank and company. So they could go directly. They could go, yeah. It's their own choice. But why would they not go? They won't go because you teach them 
And they got to own your trust now. Because they trust me yeah. and my advice. Makes your sense. Advice. So First I need person. to get licensed to yeah. do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a government license? Government license. Okay. Yeah. What's it called? A financial broker license or something? Yeah, broker license. Okay. 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 It sounds pretty official. I, I don't have to go to school for that or anything? No. You can do it online self-study. Okay, good. So agency registration with the World Financial Group. And that is $136.50. And then you need to get the licensing material, which is $177. Total investment to get the license is around $500. How would you go about getting new people. I've already contacted everybody I know. So system brings the market. The system will bring it, but you won't tell me what that means. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Why is that a, a secret? It's just the secret to bring the market. How many people down does it go? Just five people. Down. Just five people. 10 people, 20 people down, it becomes pyramid. Any more than five, it's pyramid? It's keep on going, it's pyramid. So I could get 10 people, but I'm not gonna get paid for 10 people. Yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so I didn't get a lot of footage of the meeting, but basically all they do is give you some very standard financial advice, simple stuff that you could look up on the internet and different agents will give their personal testimonies about how much it changed their life and how they're living their dreams and why you should join. There was like at least 100 people in there and they were clapping and cheering every five minutes because they were celebrating some new milestone that one of their agents hit. The one they were celebrating today was one guy hit $500,000 in revenue. Okay, buddy. They literally had cake and music. I thought I was at a birthday party. It kind of makes sense that their business model is so dependent on getting new people to join and pay the $500 in signup fees because it's such an unrealistic promise that somebody as young as 18 could just come in there off the street and within their first month sell 10 different people a 10 year long insurance contract and make a $5,000 commission off each of those people. Just for a little background, they do this method called the 5-5-30 method, which basically means you get five people, they get five people, and you do that every 30 days. So yeah, I'm gonna go back tomorrow, I'm gonna dress up in a suit and act like I'm really interested, and uh, yeah, should be good. All right, y'all, so I have a pretty good suspicion that the main guy I spoke to yesterday was on to me about like filming and my intentions at World Financial Group not really being genuine. Yesterday, he's like, yeah, come back again tomorrow, which is tonight, and we're gonna be doing the same shit, blah, 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 you can learn more. I'm like, okay, cool, see you then. This morning, I woke up to a text from him that was like, yeah, we're not gonna be there anymore, we're not doing it anymore, the agents are gonna be out of town, something, something. Y'all had like two million people there last night, and now suddenly there's just it's just not happening I, I think it was a lie I'm calling BS on it and I'm gonna go show up there anyways hopefully there is actually people there and he wasn't lying which would probably be a first for this guy all right I just pulled up and I think my suspicion about this dude lying to me was fucking spot-on because it's after business hours it's nearly 7 p.m. and the parking lot is packed so I think they're in there that's it I wanna buy another house what I need to do more money down here I wanna recruit some one more person do I need $400,000? No. Okay. Nobody is need to invest in any money. Well, technically, $500 is invested. Now, I love this woman here for chiming up and saying that $500 is an investment because she's absolutely right. Not a lot of people have $500 just kicking around that they can throw at some new opportunity they just heard about. And then I chime in. Yes, but we are comparing with the $400,000. <laughs> <laughs> also, the only thing is, with the 5530 business model, if I was to get five people and they each got five people, as would be their goal over time, even if you only repeated that process three times, you'd have 125 people. Five times, 3,125 people. 10 times over 9 million people. So it doesn't seem scalable whether we're talking three months or 10 years. And the difference is with the real estate thing, yeah, I'm not gonna have to go recruit people. Yeah, I'm gonna have to invest, but that's guaranteed income every month. Whereas it's not with an infinite amount of people. But if you have that million people that you talk about, man, you will be making 10 million. But I'm saying that's, I'm not gonna get a million people because how would that be feasible? You are not getting a people, system getting people for you. As I expected, he dodged the question and just hit me with the blanket. The system will fix everything. The system gets the market. The system brings the business. The system cures cancer. Okay, this is my favorite. He shows this very elementary looking slide about which one is easy to build. Five houses, five subway restaurants, or five blue jackets. And as you can see, Blue Jackets is the easiest because it takes a zero dollar investment, whereas it takes a lot of money for five restaurants or houses. They use different jacket colors to show the ranks of the agents in their company. Blue Jacket is like the bottom rung once you've been initiated. Then they have like red jackets, black jackets, etc. 
It's a fucking fashion show. Get your blue jacket first and wear it and get obviously achieve all of your dreams for your for yourself and your for your family, right? So the last speaker already have making half million dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna call our boy that you saw in the video. I'm gonna call him and let him know that I actually did get the message he sent the other day saying that the event wasn't happening. I'm gonna ask him why he lied. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I don't know, maybe the other day it didn't send through, but um, I just got a message from you. I'm guessing it was meant to be sent to me the other day that there's no meeting today in the office because our trainers went out of the city. But I came there that night and there was the event, so um, maybe there was some confusion. Yeah, there was the event, yeah. Yeah, so maybe there was some confusion. What did you mean by that? There was some confusion. The trainers weren't out of the city? Yeah, because uh, one of our main trainers, he went to the BC. In your message, you said our trainers, plural, yep. went out of the city, yep. meaning more That's than one. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? Because it wasn't true. Yeah. So, so what's your question, basically? That my question is, my question. question is, if the trainers were in fact in the city, why did you tell our me main that they were? Was out of the city. Okay, that's that's, good. that's fine. No, no, it isn't. What you said was, I just came to know that we don't have that meeting today in the office just because our trainers went out of the city. Do you have any other question? Because I am sitting down with somebody. I don't have that much time. Nope, but answer my main question. Okay, bye. No, answer my question. Ah, fuck. He wasn't playing. He, he, I had him in a corner. It's crazy because they be talking their way out of every little thing, and then when I finally get him on something he can't talk his way out of, he just hangs up. I'm going to pull up on him in person and film him and be like, why did you lie? Okay, I'm going to message him and say, where do you want to meet tomorrow? He replied, okay, he said, I will let you know. I said, okay, I'll just come to the office tomorrow. Thumbs up. All right, y'all, I'm back at World Financial Group. I'm trying to just pump myself up right now. By the way, I'm noticing that all the staff members from World Financial Group, who are apparently CEOs and make half a million dollars already and this and that, they're all pulling up in like Hondas and Toyotas. So I, uh, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so Hartage knew I was coming from my text message, but as soon as I got here, it was clear that he was hiding. Once the other agents noticed me, they immediately pulled me into this office and started interrogating me. So it's gone. So we don't want people who are not part of the system? I've been here two times. I know, but that you, this is not where you're supposed to come. Man, this is like regular business. We oh, yeah. don't want somebody just walking in. We have people information here. I'm not getting that information. What do you mean? No, you, we don't know. Like, you're just walking into the offices. We don't allow people like that. With all due respect, I wasn't just walking into the office. I called. I made a formal appointment. I got Hartage. Bring Hartage in here. Yeah, he will come. Bring him. Why do I want to learn? Yeah. So I can be successful in life and achieve the stuff that you guys be talking about in the meetings. Bring Hartage. He'll clarify everything. In the meantime, you're going to bring your wallet and ID. These dudes are clearly covering for Hartage. I know he's in the building because they told me he's in the building. He obviously just doesn't want this smoke. I didn't want to give this fucking guy my ID, so I told him I left it in the car. At this point, I was like, okay, pretty sure I'm not going to be able to confront Hartage. But I wasn't ready to give up. Hartage is hiding in a big way, bro. I'm gonna rummage around here in a minute and act like I'm looking for my ID and pretend that I don't have it. I might have left the house without it, so. let you drive without driving license. Yeah, you're right. In the meantime, wouldn't it be a better use of our time no, to no, go no. inside and sign me up regardless? All the information you need, I could probably just give you from my memory. No, man, I don't trust your memory. I'm gonna call police now, then you can give them explanation. Great, call them. Why is Hartage hiding inside? He's I'm hiding. trying, he's, he's hiding. Hartage is not gonna meet you. Just bring Hartage. Forget about Hartage, you call I can't forget about him. He's my boy. Your boy. He's my boy. He's my younger brother. Okay, he's my dog. Just let's go get hard Let's go inside. You don't have a driving license. Yeah. You're trying to get into the private yeah. office. I don't know about that. I'll take yeah. my chances with that. Take your chances. I'll take my chances. Okay, cool. No, no, you're not getting in. Just bring hard That's all I want to do. If you're getting, getting just bring him out. No. It's cool. I just want to learn how to sell faulty insurance. That's all. <laughs> I just want to get five no, no, people under me and then five people under them. I just want to follow this completely faulty system of 5530 that tricks people into signing up and paying $500. Get a wider shot. Looking sharp. Go on in. Don't worry about it. You're good. Actually, they got a bouncer a, now. Have, Blue jacket, baby. We have a guy here. He tried to enter into our office because we are regulated business and uh, he mm -hmm. he's driving and he don't have a license and all those things. All those things. He's not leaving. He's just on the property. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, I want to show you something. Hold on, this is the thumbnail. I don't know, maybe like uh, between 20 to 30. 
I'm 23. Wearing white uh, t-shirt. White t-shirt, black, black jeans, black and white shoes. Average size penis, good personality. He, he just keep harassing me while I'm talking to you. We, we, we got backup. Bharatej, he's, he's here? Yeah, he is here. No, he's not inside. Dude, the guy at the front desk told me he's here and he already he's told in, me he's, he's here. In, There's no point in telling me he's not, not here. here. He's here. Two people already told me, his brother and the guy inside. I'm in charge of this office. I'm the CEO here, okay? okay. Is that not is that not Hartage standing inside there? Yeah. Yep, it is. Okay. It's Hartage standing inside him. there I and he goes him. and touches the bring corner. him. Bring him. Are they on their way? Are they bringing the SWAT team? We need ID. Why do you need ID? Everybody that goes in here doesn't need ID. We're not going to let anybody like who's a stupid just to walk in and... Actually, I'm not a stupid for not giving my ID. I'm no. smart for not giving my ID. No. You guys are charging people's bank accounts and credit cards no. months after they haven't had anything to do with WFG. You guys are just scamming. By the way, this statement wasn't just pulled out of my ass. I went on the Better Business Bureau website and found literally dozens of stories from people talking about how World Financial Group charged their bank accounts or credit cards without their permission for months. Tell her they come out, say, I didn't invite you. Yep. We need to leave. Yes. Yeah. Just do that. That's all Maybe I want. He's in a meeting in somewhere. No, he's not in a meeting. Go get our tage. He's not in a fucking meeting. <laughs> Evening. Oh, he's here. Cartage. I've been trying to talk to you. I've been. It's in, we're in public. We're, no, we're in public. I can film if I want. I want to ask you, how come the last time we spoke on the phone when I called yeah. you earlier this week, how come you hung up on me and told me that the meeting was happening? Because I was in the meeting. No, no, but how come you lied? How come you told me, oh, the meeting's not happening and then it happened? What's going on, dude? Sir? Evening, sir. Are you Marco? Yes, I am. I can tell by the name tag. Thank you, yeah. Partage, why are you tripping actually, man? So, we're cool. Show a little bit him in the camera. I already showed him. Yeah. He told me it's cool. Hartage, why did you tell me last Thursday's meeting wasn't happening when I came here and it clearly was happening? Why did you lie? Just tell me. Okay, so at this point, Hartage was just in straight bitch mode the whole time, wouldn't answer any of my questions and was just snickering and smirking, standing over by the cop car until the two cops finally decided, yeah, this is ridiculous and just told us to part ways. Peace out, Hartage. I'll, I'll be back. No snitching in the streets, boy. If someone invites you to be part of World Financial Group, say no. I thought it was hilarious that they called the police on me. I'm very proud that I was able to make that happen. I'm really hoping I run into Hartage at like a Home Depot or an Ikea or something because that's the confrontation the world really needs. <laughs> Hartage, if you're watching this, fuck you.